today we will see some more examples on coordinate system and linear graph. Below is the map of Amina city. Suppose the x axis represents the horizontal road and the y axis represents the vertical road and Amina stands at the intersection. Read the map and answer the questions asked. How will Amina's location be represented in the coordinate system? Amina's location can be represented by x coordinate 0 and y coordinate 0. So her location will be 0, 0. We can call it the origin. If Amina had to represent the position of post office in the coordinate system, how would she be able to do this? The location of post office can be represented by x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 2.5. Hence, the position of post office will be represented by 1, 2.5. Which places do coordinate 3, 5 and 2, 4 represent? Number of coordinates 3, 5 where 3 is x coordinate and number 5 is y coordinate. Can you now tell which positions the coordinates 3, 5 represent? Think, think. Let me tell you, the x coordinate 3 tells us that we have to move 3 units along the x axis that is 3 kilometers here. Similarly, y coordinate 5 tells us to move 5 km along the y axis. In this way, the coordinates 3, 5 here tells us the location of a ration shop. Similarly, the number in coordinates 2, 4, 2 is x coordinate and number 4 is y coordinate. Coordinates 2, 4 represent the railway station. How will the location of the vegetable market be represented as coordinates? The location of vegetable market can be represented by x coordinate 1 and y coordinate 3.5. So, the location of vegetable market will be represented by 1, 3.5. Next example. If the y coordinate is 3 times the x coordinate, make a table for it and draw a line graph. Is the line graph a linear graph? Let's represent y coordinates with variable y and x coordinates with variable x. We are told that the y coordinate is 3 times the x coordinate. So we can say that y is equal to 3x. Let's make a table from this. If we take a value of x as 0, then the value of y will be 3 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. If we take the value of x as 1, then the value of y will be 3 multiplied by 1 is equal to 3. Similarly, if the value of x is 2, then the value of y is 3 multiplied by 2 is equal to 6. Similarly, we will find the value of y for different values of x. Now, we will draw a graph using this table. Step 1. We will draw the horizontal line x-axis and vertical line y-axis on the squared paper. Step 2. We will show variable x on x-axis and variable y on y-axis. The scale for the x-axis will be 1 unit is equal to 1 and the scale for the y-axis will be 1 unit is equal to 3. The largest value of y is 12, so we will take up to 15 numbers on the y-axis. Step 3. Now, we will find the location of points according to the scale. When the value of variable x is 0, then the value of variable y is also 0. That is, in the first case, both the x coordinate and the y coordinate are 0. So, we will draw a point in place of the origin. When the value of variable x is 1, then the value of variable y is 3. So, we will move one unit to right from the x-axis and then one unit upwards. We will now mark a point at this place. This point is the coordinate 1, 3. Similarly, we will move two units to the right from the x-axis and two units upward. Now, we will place a point that is coordinates 2, 6 at this place. After this, 
we will also mark the coordinates 3, 9 and 4, 12. Step 4. Now, we will connect all the points with line segments. Thus, we have shown various values of variable x as a graph. We see that all the line segments obtained are part of the same line. So, we can say that this is a linear graph. Today, we have seen some more examples on the coordinate system and the linear graph. Linear graph. Linear graph.